a very special day. Today's the last day of Paul's 100-year time out. You had 100 years to plan a celebration, and that was it? Yep. Oh, darn, I probably should have done that in front of Paul. I will. <laughs> Paul! Go! Oh, my lumbago! Your time out is over. You're free. Free? But where will I go? Not my problem. Hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll show you out. Enjoy your gift bag. Bye-bye now. Okay, Paul, you can do this. I'm sure not much has changed in the past hundred years. Ah, robots! The floor is eating the stairs! Ah, this toilet is taking pictures of me! Sir, sir, that is not a bathroom! This new world is scary. How will I survive on my own? Where will I live? Who will spoon pudding into my mouth while I sleep all day? I can't believe Paul got a hundred year time out. Oh yeah, he's a living legend. The only kid in history to get a 100 year time out for his shenanigans. He must have been the biggest troublemaker ever. Take that back. Back it up, bucko. Oh, it's right. What's the longest time out you ever got? Duncan's never gotten more than 10 minutes. Lame. What is happening right now? You know me. I'm the Prince of Pranks, the Duke of Destruction, the King of Chaos. Nuh-uh. Sorry, Duncan, but your worst shenanigan is chicken feed compared to Paul's big one. How dare you? What'd Paul do that was so amazing anyway? I don't actually know, and I don't want to. There's a ledger tucked away in my office that has the details of every time out ever given at this daycare. But I haven't read Paul's page. Legend has it, every teacher who read the details of Paul's epic shenanigan came down with the brain wobbles and had to be sent to a special island. It's Paul! No prank can be that good. Otherwise, I'd have already done it. Hey, it's okay that Paul is better at shagaganins than you. Don't be so hard on yourself. Your pranks are still cute. Cute? Chill, sweet cheeks. Not everyone can be a legendary bad boy like Paul. No way am I letting that old fart steal my status. I just need to find out what Paul did to get that 100-year time out and outdo it. I should be the legend, not him. Any second now and that timeout ledger's mine. Whoa, a safe inside a safe? This ledger must be epic. This is it. Yes, time to find out what Paul did, top it, and become the legend I rightfully deserve to. What? Ahem. <clears throat> You just earned yourself an unremarkable 10-minute time out, Buster! Lame! Now the only way I'll learn what Paul did to get that 100-year time out is from Paul himself, if I can find him! Oh, please! I'm so hungry! Oh, ouch! Oh, oh, I miss my time out corner! Oh, son of a monkey! <sighs> I'll never find him! He could be anywhere! Probably off having the best time he's ever... Oh! Paul! I'm so glad I found you! When did pigeons get so violent? I don't understand that question, so I'm moving on. Look, I know you were really something back in the day, and uh, I'm a bit of a troublemaker myself. So, I was wondering if maybe uh, you'd tell me your secret? I pooped in a photo booth today. What? No, dude. I meant what you did to get that 100-year time out. Please, I'll do anything if you tell me anything. This kid is my ticket back inside. Well, since I got no kids of my own, I'm willing to teach you how to be a real mischief maker. Yeah, I'm not 
really looking for an intro class. I just need to know what the prank was that earned you that massive timeout. I can't just tell you the greatest shenanigan ever pulled. Your mind would snap like an overloaded wagon on a corduroy road. Who makes roads out of pants? Just tell me how you got the timeout. Hey, it's my way or the highway. Oh, fine. Good. And I only do school-based shenanigans, so you'll need to sneak me back into the daycare. <sighs> sure, whatever. Let's find you a disguise at the local thrift store. Okay, let's see how you look. <sighs> too gnarly. Oh, too adorable. Oh, too poopy. It's perfect. Dude, no one's going to believe you're a kid just because you have a propeller beanie. Those things went out of fashion a century ago. It'll work fine. And fashion is cyclical for your information. As they made their way upriver to find the colonel, Willard knew this was no ordinary mission. And he... Duncan, where have you... Who's that with you? Uh, new student. His name is Paul. Not Paul. Napole? N Napoleon. That's his name. Napoleon. You look familiar, Napoleon. And old. Oh, really? Would an old person wear a hat like this? Mm, good point. Welcome to our daycare, Napoleon. <laughs> okay, your dumb hat worked. Now, will you tell me about the big one? Slow down your rolling. I need to teach you to walk before I teach you to get the runs. You are horrible at expressions. Either way, if you want to learn the big one, you got to start with the small ones. Your first shenanigan is what I call the Exploding Bowl Troll. <laughs> Child's play. I recommend stall number two. Ooh, that's my favorite. I call this one the Plummeting Pail of Porcupine. Can you handle it? Yawn. In my sleep, Grandpa. Who did this? This one is spring training for the big league, son. Behold, the snake snack attack. Seriously? Is this amateur hour? One snake snack attack coming up? Who turned out the light? Hello? Hello? Nope, I am done with the appetizers, Paul. I'm ready for the big one, and you know it. Ho, ho, ho. Well, then, let's talk about the big one. It's called Ding Dong Dash. Wait, what? Ding Dong Dash? That's the big one? I was pulling that prank when I was a baby. Sure, everyone's Ding Dong Dash, but not like me. The trick is to keep doing it again and again and again. People started questioning reality. They were all, but I heard the bell and no one is there. But if I can't trust my ears and eyes, we have ghost people. We must throw all animals into the well. <laughs> it was epic. That is what made Paul a legend? Lame. It is going to be so easy to top that. I know you're the legend, but what if we modernize your prank with a little bit of Duncan magic? There, the backhoe drills holes all around the perimeter. Space military rockets to fill the holes, a truckload of highly explosive firecrackers for Chef's car, and finally, a cake. What do you think of that? Oh, this kid is the Leonardo da Vinci of shenanigans, and this could earn a timeout to end all timeouts. This prank will show everyone that I am the true legend, and Paul, will be totally forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all the firecrackers are loaded into the car. We are good to go on Operation Bigger One! Ooh, free door cake. Nice. That's weird. Cakes don't click. <laughs> was a shenanigan. Whoever did this is getting a 200-year timeout. Chef, I am proud to say the person responsible for all this is... Me! Napoleon? Why did you... <gasps> Paul, of course it was you. Back to the timeout corner. <laughs> Wait, but I did it. It was me. Nope, nuh-uh. This 
has Paul written all over it. That was epic. Paul is even more of a legend now. A 200-year timeout? No one will ever top that. But what? Oh, don't be sad, Duncan. You've been a very good boy today. <laughs> it was 